Today we're going to talk about automating one of the more tedious aspects of Vikings War of Clans, and that is the task refreshers. As you may know, going through 20, 50, or 1,000 of these can be very time consuming and tedious, and I'm going to walk you through setting up a program to do it for you. Uh, so real quick, we're going to go over a demo of the program, and then I'll walk you through how to set it up yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to run and take my hands off of the keyboard and mouse. And so it's going to go ahead and click the task refresher button and then run through your tasks. I have it set to go twice, so it should go one more time. All right. And then it will stop as soon as we finish these. So this program can be applied pretty much anywhere uh, in the game where there's some repetitive task and in a variety of other RTS uh, games like this. Fairly easy to set up. All right, so let's look at getting this set up on your computer. First thing you're going to need to do is get Vikings War of Clans uh, pulled up on your desktop. If you're a mobile player, you can do that by connecting to Facebook and opening through Facebook. Uh, next thing you're going to need is the program auto it so I'll put a link to this down in the description but uh, if you're looking for it on your own just google auto it a u t o i t and go to auto it downloads and this first option right here you're going to click that and install it so once you've got that installed you're going to go to the uh, program file for auto it, so it's auto it 3. You're going to find that by going to your PC, Windows C drive, and then program files or program files 86 and auto it 3. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and go to this AU3 info or AU3 info uh, x64, it doesn't really matter. Open that, it'll look like this and then you're going to go to this SCITE folder and open this application. You'll see a blank page here. Uh, what you're going to want to do at some point after you've seen this video, just pause it here and come in and type in what you see here. Um, and then save it. So we're done with this. And I'm going to walk you through what this, this is a script, and it's basically telling the program what you want it to do. So uh, walk through this step by step. This first section, you won't need to change anything here. This is just telling it that when you hit the escape key, it's going to stop the macro from running. So if you tell it to run 50 refreshers, and you realize in two minutes that you need to access the game or your computer, you hit the escape key on your keyboard, it'll stop, it'll uh, give you a little pop-up that says macro ended. Alright, this next portion is determining the number of refreshers you want it to run. It's important that you update this and save it each time. Um, every time you stop the macro and restart it, it will go with whatever was saved here. So if you have 10 refreshers and you set it to run 10 here, you stop it halfway through, and then you start it again, it's going to think you want it to run 10 more, and you'll end up buying buying it with gold, uh, which if, if you're not interested in doing that, it's not a good thing. So this next part is going to tell it to repeat the rest of everything in here, and as long as the number of refreshers here is greater than zero. And this is essentially a loop function. Um, this line at the bottom is kind of the counter to it. Every time it runs through this, it's going to subtract this by 1. So the first time it runs, gets to the bottom, it'll be 9. It'll run again, 8, 7, 6, until you're done. So you don't have to change anything here. just need to change this to the number of refreshers you need to run. All right, this next portion, this activates your window. Uh, this isn't an issue if you have it set up, or if you have your, your computer set up similarly to this. It's going to go ahead and click here anyways, because uh, this is where you're telling it to click. It's a good idea to go ahead and change this, though. Uh, so we'll go through that really quickly. 
you come over here to this window info panel, click and drag the finder tool. So you click on it, don't let go, pull it over to anywhere in this window, and let go. It's going to say Plarium Games. So I have the Plarium Games app uh, that I'm, I've got the game open with. So I'm going to take this right here and just paste it in between the quotes here. And that'll just make this the primary window. So once that runs, it'll just uh, be your front window. So the next portion, uh, this clicks your task refresher button. So it's going to click this right here. And this is the same spot whether you already have tasks or you're buying them. Um, so we've got mouse click and we're telling it we want the left mouse click and we just need to specify the location on the screen. So this is, uh, this is why you can't just take this script that I have and run it on your computer because you'll have a different resolution more than likely and it will be in a different spot. So to find out these coordinates, we'll come over here, make sure that this is on the mouse tab and it'll probably start on the Windows tab. Just click over here. Again, using that Finder tool, we're going to drag it over here and place it dead center on this button right here. So when we let go of that, it'll give us a new position. So we have 1086 and 785. So I've got that. Let's save it. And we've got these, uh, so you'll see sleep quite frequently in this macro. What that's telling the computer to do is to pause. You may need to adjust that based on your computer's latency. Uh, if it takes a while for the window to move to the next step, you may need to adjust that up or down. 1,000 equals one second. So right now I'm telling it to pause for uh, 0.2 seconds. All right, and in this next spot, number of tasks. So this is to tell the program how many tasks you have, because this will be different whether you're running it for personal, clan, premium, and based on your VIP level. So if I refresh this right now, I have 11 tasks, because I'm VIP 13, and I want it to run 11 times. Um, and this is essentially the same system that we had before. Uh, up here for the number of task refreshers. You only need to change this if you're switching to a different type of task or if you go up in VIP level and it increases your task for that that specific section that you're going to run. Um, now down here I have it set to negative one instead of zero. That's because with the tasks sometimes they are a little bit less reliable in how fast they refresh and occasionally a click won't go through. So this just runs an, an extra time, meaning that it'll probably just click here a couple times with there nothing being or with there being nothing there. Not a big deal. Just make sure that your your uh, bot doesn't get stuck. So just adjust this portion right here. And down here, this is just telling it to click over here. So we're going to go ahead and refresh this bring this back up and we need to determine where to put these these numbers. So we're going to again going to grab the finder tool, put it right in the middle of that start button, let go. 11:48. So I'll adjust that there and then 4:12. So I will adjust this here. All right, at this point you're ready to run this. To do so, you just hit that F5 key on your keyboard while this is the active window. Again, if you need to stop it before it runs through all the re refreshers you've set, hit that escape key, and uh, that's pretty much it. You're good to go. If you have any issues getting this set up or running into any errors or any other problems, leave a comment down below with as much detail as you can as to what's happening. I'll try to respond there. If there's enough uh, feedback, I'll make a follow-up video going over any workarounds that you may need. And if you found this helpful, leave a like and subscribe. I'll be putting out some more Vikings War of Clans videos shortly.